everybody, welcome back to What's the Loathing, and I just realized I probably should have checked the, uh... Oof. One moment. Okay, yeah, it's record it recorded, but not from the microphone by my face, so it might sound a little weird. I don't know. We will see. Let's go look at that poop. Find a flyer for a dynamite store up north. It's a chart around the edges looks like it's blown up by an explosion. You run the location down near your map. Discover a new location. Dynamite Dance Discount Dynamite Dare House. Let's just keep going. As you reach the center of the clearing, you are simultaneously struck with awe, profound awe and terrible stench as you discover the largest road apple you've ever seen. You can't even imagine how it got here. Is it a giant horse? Was it 200 normal-sized horses act acting uh, collaboratorially? Maybe? They, they should have sent a poet. Oh, hey, my nose. Oh, wow. Wow, oh, wow. My nose is disagreeing. Yeah, uh... Digging. Is this enjoyment for humans? Yes. I'm trying to remember what makes him stronger. With Susie, it was killing cows. With Doc Alice, it was uh, killing uh, skeletons. Yeah, Pete was, I think, with mo was investigating mine. You encounter an overturned wagon, ruined by, surrounded by ruined books and broken pair of spectacles. Looks like a family of especially illiterate homesteaders met an untimely end here. Tragic. You pour over the detritus and manage to find exactly one book that is both undestroyed and remotely interesting to you. You got Advanced Cow Punching, volume 252. This chapter is about rubbing your skin with sandpaper in order to thicken it. It gives thick skin, a skill that increases your armor, protecting you against melee attacks. There's a chapter about uh, adapting the stampede behavior of chaotic cattle for human use. It gives bull stomp, a combat skill that does a small amount of damage to all your enemies. There's an essay about how to do a particular kind of sit-up that makes your abs really thick. It gives brawny, a perk that increases your maximum HP. I'd like to learn full stomp, please. Read up on stomping and get much better at it. Get skilled full stomp. You accidentally stomp on the book of the dust while practicing. The Butterfield Ranch, eh? Yeah, why not? You're gonna deal with this cow if you want to explore this area. Alright. Shush your face. Oh dear, this is gonna be a problem. Yeah. 
that demonic cow from this realm. Get thee hence, little doggy. Tainted beef steak. And extra thick cow leather. Grab some rope. Fill in a haystack. Something smoldering in the embers. Dig in. Ow, 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 ow! We got an item, Red Hot Poker. Does it do fire damage? Indeed. You noticed some words on the side of the outhouse. Curly was here. Wait a second. Curly, Curly Butterfield, the legend of Curly's meat. Looks like this outhouse is worth investigating. Luckily, you don't have to go inside the outhouse because once you open the door, you find a map scratched on the inside. The map reveals the location of a mine just west of the ranch, labeled Coal Ridge. You discovered a new location, Coal Ridge. There's an inset map of the mine itself with a big X scrawl between three strange triangular ink icons. Curious. Churn itself. You see a streak of fire blast across the sky and land just over the horizon. You ride to the site in the impact and find a meteor. Pick up the loose pieces. Mmm. Meteor meat. A meat meteor. Hello, dark metal hole. Hello. Out here I will waiting. Not for exploring a mine? Better to staying here out with open wind and sky. Not underground like Zoo Dog. Who is. No, never mind. Hmm. It's Lee WM, eh? skeleton covered in the same goo that was outside the locker. Ah, you get it. This guy must have died after his co-workers played a prank on him where they stuffed him into his locker and then filled it with shaving cream. I can't believe Dang Jerk stuffed me into my locker and then filled it with shaving cream. I died from that, yells the skeleton, confirming both your insight and his vengeful murderous intent. Ain't no reason not to do it. Eh. 
Got nothing on me. Well, he's not suffering anymore, and his bones are really clean. Ooh. The third lock. Combo lock and eat onto the combo. Well, darn. Need a pickaxe. Oh, this is about. Oh, it's in three, 30 foot shaft. I'll tie a rope to the crossbeam. This is the spot Curly's notes mentioned. Weird, there's a compass buried here. You got an item, Curly's Compass. Really need to remember where the, uh... Looking at this spiral makes you feel queasy. Looks like this card's only partially real. Black... Vein, a scabber's mass sits below on the floor. This spiral makes you uncomfortable. You don't like the spiral one bit. Slick run the length of the meat vein. It goes further than I expected. It's warm. You're in up to your shoulder when you feel it. A beating heart. Rip it out! Unfine meat nugget. 39 feet. Oh, look! Oof, looks like this guy should have picked better friends. You get the pickaxe. So much meat! Dynamite Dance. Destroyed campsite, you say? There's a campsite off in the distance that appears to have been very complicit, empressly trampled to ruin. This knapsack looks like it's taken a lot of abuse recently. Search it. Most of the contents were trash from being stomped on, but you do find it in a can of potted meat, though. You also notice that the map sat has a knife he's strapped to it, but you don't see a knife anywhere. Campfire is thoroughly stomped and kicked. Someone is really serious about fire safety. This tent is a mess. It was trampled by a whole herd of cows. There's something odd about it, though. A more thorough inspection reveals dusty boot prints on the tavern can canvas. Cows don't typically wear boots. Oh gosh, someone wasn't liking a person's camping site. Not just this camp, yikes. Yikes, you think maybe this used to be a person? This human has popped. Gary did not know you this used to be pop just popping. Er, no, we don't. Well, not in the sense you mean, I think. This meat, it is very large, all of it. A human contains all this? Uh, well, yeah. Ugh, could not bear carrying all that, so squishy. There's a corp- 
There are cow tracks leading from this mangled corpse. It shouldn't be hard to follow them. Since you have reason to believe that these tracks may be fake, you could either follow them or head in the opposite direction. Mm, go the opposite way. Get in the opposite direction for about a half a mile and discover another camp. This one occupied. You observe the campers carefully from a distance before approaching. They're dressed weirdly in bright colored baggy clothes and white face paint. As you get closer, you realize they're dressed up as rodeo clowns. Gross. Why would they do that? There doesn't seem to be a rodeo happening here. Near, near here. Not sure if this good. This is a good idea. I might not be able to win this. Clown Rodeo is playing the harmonica. The tune he's playing basically goes doo 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 doo. He nods politely, but keeps playing. This rodeo clown is eating a comfortably large hunk of meat. He narrows his eyes at you as if to say mine. This clown is idly juggling a knife. Howdy, stranger! He says with a smile. Uh, howdy. What are you guys doing all the way out here? Camping? You can tell by the campfire. What I mean is... I mean, what are you... What I mean is there's no rodeo or circus around here, so why are you guys in rodeo clown outfits? Oh, that! Our circus up north. We're on breaks. We started taking the sights. What circus? You're gonna have a circus in the area. Oh, you wouldn't have. It's a traveling show. You aren't missing anything. Well, what's it called, though? The clown hesitates and shrugs. It's called Barnaby Bob's perfectly normal traveling circus side show. How far north is it? Oh, pretty far. Too far for you to worry about. No, really, how far? You can hear Garvin go, well, it is pretty far north. Exactly, too far. You walked all the way from there? Wait a minute, you guys walked all the way down here from the northern part, part of the territory for sightseeing on your break? We get really long breaks. We have a good union. Look, I'm not stupid. Look, I may have literally fallen off the turnip truck recently, but that doesn't mean I'm stupid. What are you guys doing here? The harmonica player stops, and the clown's eyes grow very cold. His friendly grin turns into a snarl. Your traveling tutor is giving lessons in minding your own friggin' business. Would you like a free sample? Bring it, you faith... You pasty-faced goons. I'm in serious trouble. <laughs> ah, shite. Stupid me. <laughs>
Well, I'm in serious trouble. I bit off more than I can chew. I don't even feel like reading this, I'm upset. I lost my chance. So stupid. snakes pour out of the hole in the canyon wall. They're pulling out your knife. to me. I shall murder you all one by one. So upset about that clown. out of infinity snakes. Just infinity more to go. I might do more of that later. Old mansion. Old mission, rather. Well, let's go there now. Old big stone building, clanging towers. It's a church. What? A religious place. What? Maybe we just sk skip it. Wait out here, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, what's wrong, sister? They came back. They just came back and took them. I couldn't stop them. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Okay, what happened? Our holy relics, the saints just stomped out of the catacombs and took them back. Wow. I didn't know what to do. I thought maybe they'd fire me if I tried to stop them. The cardinal will be here in a minute. What am I going to do? The star will take a deep breath and try and calm down, okay? What's your name? I'm Sister Mary. Okay, my name's Blue. What about the saints? Our missions are... Mission is to protect these six, three sacred relics. I'm the relic keeper. It's my specific job to look after them. Wait. Do they... Wait, do they call you Memento Me... She shows you the ruler. She keeps tucked up her sleeve. 
no. They do not. Okay, okay, sorry. So what happened? The saints. Oh, it's horrible. They came back to life somehow. They came out of the cat becomes all skeletal and ghastly looking. I mean, it's probably blasphemy to say that, but I nearly fainted. And they took back their relics? Yes, and if they aren't recovered but before the cardinal gets here, I'll be in so much trouble. Uh oh, how much time is there? Actually, he's month overdue, but so it's probably not at all that urgent. But still, all right, I'll get them back for you. Oh, thank you, thank goodness. Wait a second, are you gonna have to fight them to get the relics? Because it's probably blasphemous too. I mean, probably. But if black magic brought them back to life, that's like super blasphemous, right? So it evens out. Oh dear, the cardinal's gonna want to have a very long talk about this. But go ahead and do what you must, I suppose. I'm hesitant to do that now. After getting my ha my ass handed to me by clowns. A thwack thwack leads you to, a, to the sight and the sight of a goblin chopping down a large cactus. When it sees you, it waves his axe at you threateningly and makes some angry noises. Hey, it's a human person. Hey, human person, no way to going. It's my cactus. That's mine, not yours. Uh, hello. Hello, how are you? I will not your cactus taking. Good, yes, good, hello. Why are you chopping a cactus now? Why? Lots of uses to build, to building, to burning, to eating. Little toothpicks. I'm taking your axe. Your axe. I to wanting. You, you me to giving it. What? No, an axe is mine, this one. What if I loudly shouting at you and my arms waving in angry things to doing? I would not to liking it. Here is an axe, but this is upsetting. Sorry, I, I to have needing it. I to having a need of it. Investigating the smoke of a nearby campfire, you find a bandit snoozing cozily beneath a, a large, colorful quilt, which seems like a strange choice for camping gear, right? And then he wakes up and jumps to his feet, revealing that the large, colorful quilt is actually a large, colorful, quilted pair of pants. In stark contrast with his whimsical pants, he is undeniably hostile. I'm gonna make fun of his pants. <laughs> where'd you get those ridiculous pants? Did your granny make those for you? Matter of fact, she did, and they're warm and cozy, and they remind me how much my Grammy loves me, just like I love her. So what's it to you? Okay, you got me. They're really nice. I'm sorry I made fun of you. Apology accepted. And it pours you a cup of coffee, and the two of you chat a while before you take your leave. I like that you get experience even though you don't actually fight. Bar of soap. A lock. Smelling salts, surgical gin. Howdy there, I'm Wandering Sally. Howdy, Sally, I'm Blues. What's your line? Trading! I wander all around these lands just like it says on the label, and I buy a little here, sell a little there to make my way. Care to see my way? Sure thing. What you be having? I can always get more of those. Same with this. Oh shit. What did I just sell? Can I buy it back? Oh, I don't know what I bought. Or sold, rather. If 
bag of patented shroom grow miracle fungal fertilizer, guaranteed to increase the size and intensity of any mycological specimen. I could go for some boots. Give to Gary. Now, so that's how we make him more powerful. We feed him that. Still don't have any pants. Which is a little awkward. Well, let's call it a video here. I might do a little uh, grinding. But other than that, yeah, we'll call it here. I am the Blues32. This is West of Loathing. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.